بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از ہیٹنگ کرو اینڈ آئی ایم ٹیکنگ دا ایگزامپل آف آئس وچ از ٹیکن ایٹ مائنس ٹین ڈگری سیلسیس آئس از ان دا آئس از گیننگ ہیٹ اینڈ آفٹر گیننگ ہیٹ دا ٹیمپریچر آف آئس ول انکریز فرام مائنس ٹین ڈگری سیلسیس ٹو زیرو ڈگری سیلسیس ایز یو نو دیٹ زیرو ڈگری سیلسیس از دا ٹیمپریچر آف میلٹنگ آئس and the same temperature is for the freezing ice so we can say that the um, freezing point or the melting point of ice is zero degrees celsius so this point must be kept in mind that the melting point or freezing point of a substance is the same okay now um, as the ice is gaining heat energy and uh, its temperature increasing from minus 10 degrees celsius till 0 degrees celsius so no change in state will occur during this interval of the time or uh, from a to b no state change but only the increase in temperature the ice is increasing its temperature from minus 10 degrees celsius to 0 degrees celsius at b point ice is at 0 degrees celsius now after this point ice will uh, gain further heat and the temperature will remain constant at 0 degree celsius now the state uh, will change it means the ice which is initially in solid form now it will be changing into the liquid form and during this interval of time no change in temperature will occur so this horizontal line is showing that no temperature is uh, changing no temperature change is occurring uh, at this point c the water will be at 0 degree celsius initially it was ice at 0 degree celsius but at the end it is water at 0 degree celsius now the heat energy absorbed during this portion of the graph can be calculated by latent heat of fusion this formula will be applied for latent heat of fusion of ice afterwards from c to d now again the uh, this water which is at 0 degree celsius this water will gain heat and that heat will be absorbed by water to increase its temperature initially this water was at 0 degree celsius but after absorbing heat uh, its temperature will gradually increase and when the temperature of water will reach at 100 degree celsius the water will start boiling okay now during this portion of the graph the whatever heat is absorbed by water to get the boiling point of water that heat absorbed can be calculated with the help of the formula of heat capacity of water okay now dear, uh, one more thing which must be kept in mind that from c to d again there will be no state change occurring like from a to b no state is uh, changing only the temperature of ice is increasing here again from c to d no state change is occurring the temperature of water is increasing from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius okay now the fourth portion of the graph in this fourth portion of the graph from d to e this water which has start boiling at 100 100 degree celsius now the temperature will remain constant this horizontal line again is showing that the temperature is constant at 100 degree celsius the water is boiling so when the water is boiling it is changing state from liquid state to gaseous state so again to find out the heat absorbed by water during this a uh, portion of the graph can again be calculated with the help of latent heat of vaporization because no change uh, no change in temperature is occurring during this interval of graph okay i hope that you have understood if you uh, uh, have any problem you can ask later so one more thing which is very important this is the graph between temperature and time okay Now let us see another video. Uh, now uh, for the cooling curve, let us take the example of naphthalene, which is initially at 90 degrees Celsius, 
uh, its temperature is decreasing from 90 degrees Celsius to 79 degrees Celsius. Uh, at 90 degrees Celsius, uh, naphthalene is liquid and at the temperature 79 degrees Celsius, it starts solidification uh, because uh, 79 degrees Celsius is the melting point or the freezing point of naphthalene. As you know that the melting point and freezing point of a substance is the same. So here at this temperature 79 degrees Celsius, it starts solidification. Okay, during this portion of the graph from A to B, the naphthalene will remain in liquid state. No state is changing, so we are going to apply the formula for, for heat capacity to find out the heat taken out during this process because uh, in, when the naphthalene is cooling down, the heat will be taken out. Okay, So this can be calculated will, with the help of the formula of heat capacity. And remember this, then uh, no state is changing during this portion of the graph, only the temperature is decreasing from 90 to 79 degrees Celsius. Well, at B, it is the liquid naphthalene at 79 degrees Celsius. Now, when further heat is taken out during this interval of the graph, so that will basically change the state of naphthalene from liquid to solid. Between these two points from B to C, there will be a mixture of solid and liquid because it starts solidifying at B and at C the process of solidification completes and at C point it will be solid at 79 degrees Celsius. It was liquid at 79 degrees Celsius at point B and at the end it will be solid at 79 degrees Celsius. Now during this portion the heat which has been taken out from naphthalene can be calculated with the formula of latent heat of fusion. You can observe that the temperature remains constant during the change of state. So this fact must be kept in mind that whenever the state is changing, the temperature is not changing. When the temperature is changing, the state will not change. Well, from C, from C to D, the temperature is decreasing. Temperature was 79 degrees Celsius. And it was in the solid form it will remain in the solid form while the temperature is decreasing here again the heat is being taken out the amount of heat taken out during this uh, portion of the graph can be calculated with the heat capacity of this sol solid naphthalene okay I hope uh, you have understood this concept of the cooling curve thank you